see uh, in, in this uh, panel, we have a lot of discussion in fuel uh, monitoring, fuel treatment, and fuel management. This is a, a, a presentation from us in the same line. And we have saw also in the last presentations of the last panel that we have some discussion in this. And this is from our point of view, uh, mainly important for the future. We had in the past a long time discussion uh, based on the AED means design index from the YAS. They are working the whole time to make a better design for the vessel. And uh, over the time, of course, they have a benefit. But in the last years, you will see more and more that it's empty. And we will start now in the operation index to have the chip operation under control. Means the whole discussion and monitoring uh, works like this, that we have to know what's going on on the vessel. We have to know what's going on online, not only in reporting. We have to react as soon as possible to, uh, to, to react, uh, to reduce the emission and to reduce the fuel consumption. In this field, uh, we are as Aquameter working in fuel measurement, fuel performance re uh, reporting, and as well as in fuel management and treatment. Uh, early in the morning today, we had a long discussion uh, to the fuel types. Uh, new fuel types create a lot of trouble, maybe create a lot of maybe also thermal load needed for the high temperature to bring the, this new type of fuels in the viscosity you need. And all of this is not so easy to, uh, to handle on board the vessel. So at first, uh, we are coming from our understanding for the environmental impact of a vessel, what is the input and output uh, substances flow. So from our point, uh, we discussed in the morning, the fuel is uh, also marked in the, inside this. We have also discussed uh, the, the water bottle, the plastic bottles. We have also discussed the uh, uh, anti-fouling, but you see a lot of other influences uh, in, to the vessel and from the vessels to the environmental conditions. Uh, if you talk about the fuel, we had last time, last year in this, uh, in this meeting, uh, also a presentation to uh, how we can handle fuel management uh, instead of in a scrapper, for instance. And we have discussed in the morning how long we will need if we think following with new regulations, uh, with new technical developments. And I'm not so pretty sure that we will further in 10 years in the next step if we need time to find new solutions in the market. Uh, a short overview what we have. We have made, based on this, uh, for a green ship, uh, three challenges in, with our products. The first is, of course, the fuel management to have the emission under control. The second, uh, to have also uh, the possibility to solve the trouble with the sludge treatment. Nobody has talked about if you have incompatibilities in fuel circulating systems. You can have a filter so good it is. In the end, you will be flushing, and you have the sludge in the vessel and can't use this in ship operation. If the fuel is prepared in a good way by separating processes, this fuel can be burned. Why you don't install in the fuel circulating system not a kind of homogenizer or something like that to milling the fuel the whole time in front of the filter that this fuel can passing and can be burned in a combustion chamber. This is easy to handle and this fuel can be used. It will be not waste fuel uh, to separate it or to uh, discharge on, 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 on shore. The last step uh, is the main target, fuel monitoring performance. Of course, we as Aquametro are coming from the, uh, from the uh, fuel measurement. And based on that, uh, we have the understanding what you are measure, what is the situation on board the vessel, and then we can react. A short feedback uh, from the last uh, uh, panel and from the last year. Uh, we have presented last time a fuel diesel switch, fuel blending, uh, same as our colleagues now from uh, Alpha Val have presented, a con temperature control to fulfill the regulations, two degrees per minute, for instance, on engine. If you talk about the new, temp uh, the new fuels with a much higher temperature to fulfill the viscosity for injection, maybe 12 centistokes, this problem will be increasing in the future if you use the new type of fuels. You have a bigger range of temperature, uh, on the engine, and this creates a lot of trouble in injection nozzles and pumps. So this is not gone, this uh, headache. You have to change between 0.1 and 0.5. If you are not running with a scrapper, be careful. Uh, this can be a solution. And secondly, I have made uh, with this drawing also possibility uh, why the regulations say I have to have a scrapper to bunker heavy fuel oil. Because in past, we had only the technical solution scrapper to fulfill the reduction of SOX emission. But technical-wise, I can blend fuel. This is much simpler, uh, uh, more simple uh, as uh, uh, to clean the, the, the exhaust gases later on with a huge uh, operation cost for maybe uh, the, the water transfer. 
Uh, and we have a really easy, if you say the SOX emission signal has to be the, the limit value, has to fulfill the limit value, whatever you do in the technical processes, and you can fulfill this, it's allowed to do. But at the moment, right now, it's not allowed. This is not a technical question. It's only a question to administration and to the regulations. And if we go further with this, we never will have success. So I don't know how we can bring new uh, development in the market, from my point of view. Uh, at least it's better from our understanding that we don't create this SOX emission. The scrapper clean the SOX emission from the exhaust gas, but we don't create. If you add, for instance, 10% heavy fuel to diesel oil, you have a clean heavy fuel oil, you have a clean diesel oil, whatever you had in the past, you have no trouble with the circulating system, with the existing fuel system, no incompatibilities, you can go further as it was. But it's not allowed. Scrapper for heavy fuel oil. Uh, the homogenizer is only a short piece of cake inside. Uh, you have it since long time. We say prefer to install it in front of the final filter uh, between preheater and the visco master. The visco master uh, in, have it including the control and then you have no trouble with any uh, incompatibilities in fuel and circulating system. For the fuel uh, efficiency, same as we have said, if you don't have uh, this fuel consumption, can reduce the fuel consumption, then we never have this emission. We have a benefit of course, cost price also in uh, environmental impact by not use the kind of fuels. This is an example where we install our components. I have said we are coming from the uh, flow meters. We have the Visco master to have all these measurement values you have in the fuel system under control in our own company. Uh, we have the diesel switch, we have the homogenizer, and all, with this uh, data, we can make a monitoring based on a web visualization that we can collect the data as trend curves, of course you can have, as KPI, as, uh, with a plausibility check, as monitoring and reporting if you need, uh, and you have, from our point of view, all in, from, in one hand. The whole discussion uh, 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 to the data quality, big data, is not needed if you say for fuel efficiency, uh, to have less data is better as big data, from our point of view. Uh, the, the presentation from the last panel uh, was deep in details also present, you have to have a knowledge of the process you talk about. Uh, not only display some values over trend, give you the overview, the overview view you will have. If you have an understanding what's going on in high performance, how I can simul uh, 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 how I can bring this knowledge inside our monitoring, for instance, for different type of vessels, and how I can implement the trim optimizing rather uh, and and uh, propeller performance, for instance. If I have this experience, of course, then I can implement this in the monitoring and I have the benefit, I see directly with fuel efficiency and some other values online, my system is changed and then can react earlier as after maybe reporting of AOE after one uh, trip. You have to have an understanding if you have, for instance, the, flow, uh, the fuel consumption and the shaft power on the other side in, 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 uh, in me mechanical output of the engine. Of course, you can say the engine is a black box. The engine is black box and the efficiency is going down, then you can say you have to do something. This is not our target, but we can say, yes, now you have to do something, not in, after the trip it was passed, Bad conditions, it is bad conditions, and you can react with other systems you have, on, for instance, cylinder pressure analysis or some other deep diagnostic systems. Therefore, you have to know the engine performance, what I can see. I have to know, uh, I have to have experience of the chip operation itself, how I can share the data, how I combine the data to new information that I don't need the highest knowledge to understand what's going on in the crew. I can prepare it like a traffic light, red, green, yellow. And if everything is green, the crew can have other jobs to do. If they're yellow or red, maybe also in trend curves, of course, then they have to do what is the next step to reduce or to make the engine performance, for instance, better or to have a look of the high performance. How we are doing this in, with our own components, of course, in the engine room, you have a lot of uh, different sensors. You have, of course, also the, uh, the GPS and the lock signal uh, to use to have it over the time and over the, uh, the distance uh, to make this reporting is needed and to have also uh, the information what the efficiency over the, over the nautical mile is. And, as, and, and we are changing now in the deep of information going down with this information. It makes no sense on the bridge to have all the information you have in the end room, maybe also for some 
uh, engine operation here in the engine control room, you don't need this information there. That's too many information. Big data can be also too many operation information. Uh, this is extremely important if you have the data from different set this systems you don't know. In this case, you have to trouble that, for instance, uh, if the timestamp is different, you have no idea how you can share the data together. If you do that, you can completely miss with your results. But on the other hand, in engine control room, you have to have, therefore, less is more. The data you have have to have the same timestamp, and then you can analyze. What we are doing is uh, with our, only some slides from our uh, normal uh, uh, portfolio, we have the flow meter in the business uh, with a, a piston, a rotating piston, we have the shaft power meter in our own, and we have the benefit that we can have both uh, in one hardware, means we can use the same hardware for the shaft power as for the monitoring, that you don't need to have separated system for double prices. And the main in, in, uh, interest from our system is a, the, the KPI calcul calculation for an easy understanding, fuel efficiency, AOE permanently, not in reports only, condition monitoring, uh, process optimizing, trim optimizing, reporting, and fleet monitoring. For all of this, you have to have the knowledge of the process itself, not only data collecting, create big data. Uh, we, we are doing this in a standard PLC system, web-based. Uh, this is a standard you have from other systems too. We have a data interface with open structure. This is important that we can, can transfer our data in upper systems. They collect all the data to and share to new information in maybe chip operation or in chip monitor, uh, in, in fleet monitoring. We have a model design, a modular design that we can add if the customer would like to have some more data implemented as only our basic data that you have this, can use the system for more as this, what we have configured. And of course, we can create uh, on shore as on board the same kind of web visualization that the guys on shore as on board work, discuss with the same things. You create a report what you have in log files too. All this can be uh, combined, of course, on shore and on, and on board. For us, important is to have all this equipment on board to handle immediately and not later on in, 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 uh, in, yeah, in after the trip, uh, after the, yes, in results of any reports. This again, from our point of view, in the future, you will have a big uh, benefit if you have the in operation, uh, operation index permanently on, under control, and therefore you're working with our fuel management treatment as well as monitoring as me and measurement. From my point of view, thank you very much for this, in time.